I'm in between projects at my company, so I'm practically being paid to do nothing. So they've asked me to do a fun little side project. Two days to make an app. I wanted to do this together and update you as I went along, but one of the days is already gone, so I had to get most of that work out of the way today. They want me to make a money-saving app for any target market that I please. By tomorrow at 4 p.m., I have to focus on the onboarding of the app, so like the login screens and the introductory screens and make sure that that all makes sense and is realistic. I've decided to go with a savings app geared towards children's budgeting and getting children understanding financial literacy and and getting children on board with saving habits because <sighs> saving is good. We should all save. Saving money, <laughs> so awkward. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just thinking about the fact that I literally have less than 24 hours to make this app. And not only that, I have to make a presentation as well with it. And they're testing both. They're testing the app and my presentation skills. I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you the market research that I did. I looked at a bunch of different apps on the app store, like Moneybox and Hyperjar. So this is the Hyperjar app. It's sort of all these budgeting pots that you can add family members to. And I believe this one is the NatWest Rooster app for kids budgeting. Set your chore allocation and how much money it is. This is the 52 weeks My Savings app. This isn't really what I'm going for, but it was just inspirational in its sort of visual and its UI, it's very simple. And it also feels like it could be geared towards kids. So I was taking inspiration for it that way. Budgeting, saving pots, and a little bit of investing. The only thing that I really found that some of them were lacking is an integration of both. So what happens when a child learns how to save, but then they get old enough to learn how to invest? You know, you turn 16 in the UK and you can open an investment account. What happens then? That's the sort of niche that I want to fill with this app. And hopefully they find that interesting. If they don't, that sucks but that's what I got. That's all I got. That's all I came up with in like two hours, okay? My desk is right here. It's a fucking mess, not gonna lie. I'm not actually gonna show you because it's that bad, but we're gonna sit down and I'm gonna put you at a very convenient angle to not show any of that mess. Hold on, for some reason we have rave lights in the bag. Blue. Yeah, that's nice. Here is the home screen. <laughs> I named it Saver just because it's like a saver, cool and edgy, you know, how the, how the cool kids do. I did a little cool graphic here where it goes like simple piggy bank to learning how to cut up and divide your budget to investing. Because as you grow up, you want to get more complicated. Because as you grow up, you sort of want to level up, you know? Senior gets pretty much everything that the Junior Saver has except for an investment button option. On the Junior Saver, it'll have their date of birth, so when they hit 16 years old, a little pop-up will say graduate to a Senior Saver and the app will flip over to the investment side of things. So they get a little virtual card on their phone, they can tap, tap, tap away, and they get to see the consequences of their own actions play out. Because what's a better way to teach a child how to save? Just give them complete free reign over their money. I'm just gonna keep going with this tonight. So yeah, let's keep going. I think I'm gonna finish up there. I'm really, really tired now. I'm feeling pretty confident. It's pretty much just the identity checking pages that I need to flesh out and the dashboard. I think from when I wake up to 4 p.m. I can get that done. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll update you on how it's going tomorrow, but for now, I really need to get to sleep. Good night, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. I've got some new ideas. I've woken up fresh. I'm feeling good. So let's get straight into it and see how much we can get done. 
Today I have to finish the UI and make the presentation. I'm not really good with speaking spontaneously. I have to make a script for what I say. I know when I speak to you guys, like, it just flows, but if it's something like a presentation that I'm being graded on, then <laughs> I'm gonna need a script. Finish UI, presentation, script. Let's go. number pads here I didn't actually design them I just kind of copied and pasted them in as a vector file you can find them online on Figma community but um, they're really helpful for making it look more polished and look like it's in situ realistic because these things will actually pop up as you use that so I think we're pretty much done we've got the main screen the parent or child login but choose your account type What's your number, verification, your name, date of birth, send ID video, and then you know, complete. And once the parent has an account, they can link their account to the junior account. Then the dashboards, they're not completely done, but almost. We've got the parent dashboard, which just shows sort of household saving part and recent transactions. And I'm going to add a little bit for setting child permissions. Then we've got the junior saver account, which shows their goal, how much they've saved, their wish list and their pocket money, and a little bit about graduating to a senior saver when they're 16. And then the senior saver, their goal, they have little budget jars because at that age they'll be wanting to understand how to budget by themselves a little bit more. I'm thinking about putting this in the junior as well, but I'm not sure. I've got to mention that I actually made two extra pages. The first page is a saving checkpoint page, which just acts as sort of incentive and congratulates you for adding to the goal. There's a little dragon there as like a mascot to personalize it, and it's just a fun way of seeing your saving progress. Then we have the lesson plan, which is just like beginner friendly lessons on finance. It eases you into topics like interest and investing and parents can actually monitor the progress of their kid and set rewards. So yeah, it's so the two extra pages I made because we're going above and beyond here. So I've been pretty much nonstop designing for the last six hours. I physically cannot look at this screen any longer. It's about one hour till I present. The presentation needs a bit more work. It's a bit basic right now. I'm gonna take a half hour just to take my eyes off a screen. So I'm going to go over it a couple times. The market research that I did, I found three main themes in savings apps. Number one, investing for adults. Investing geared towards adults. So I designed Saver. Family budgeting, a family budgeting app teaching children to save and invest. That teaches children to save and invest. The parent, the parent, the parent, the parent, the parent dashboard to help them more, as I said, to help them independently manage their money and divide it as they see appropriately little lesson section here and then the little lex little lesson session tab that's it that's the app and i have 10 minutes until i present i'm gonna go over this a couple more times familiarize myself with what i'm gonna say <laughs> I think I've got two minutes. <sighs> I always get nervous before these things. <sighs> I'm 
Breathe, Lily, breathe. No one else is there yet. I have to share my screen and there's so much shit in the background. Hold up, let me delete everything. Breathe, Lily, why are you going crazy? Okay, I'm entering. <laughs> I hate when it's only... Hello? Hello. Literally just finished. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I love a tight deadline for you. In my experience, the best UI design is done 10 minutes before the deadline, <laughs> so always in that mode for better or worse. <laughs> just always like, in oh, high so stress well. mode. I made a snazzy little app called Saver. The grinding has won me over already. <laughs> I found a sort of like gap in the market for an app that teaches children how to save their pocket money as well as start to become more like savvy with investing once they're old enough. The onboarding, I tried to just make it really simple. The parent will choose whether they're junior or a senior and a senior essentially means they can set up an actual like investment account like an ISA. They've got a main saving goal, for instance, like if a junior wanted a bike or a senior wanted a Nintendo Switch, that's there and they can save towards that. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, so first of all, that child is getting paid way too much to do their work. <laughs> but it's really, good. it's really good, Lily. Like, honestly, like, the, the style you've gone for, the little imagery parts, the idea itself and the thought behind it is, is really, really good. First of all, you presented back a bit of research. Uh, so it was nice to see that you, you haven't just jumped in off what can I start visualising. There was definitely yeah. a good bit of thought put into it. I, I like the way that you told a narrative there rather than just here's the UI. I would have liked to know more about the styling of why you made some stylistic choices though. Like the little dragon and stuff is really cool. Tell me more about that. Um, I guess Sorry. I just thought like, for instance, if a kid is going to be more engaged with it, then they'd want like a character to attach it to. Yeah, just adding those little bits. Okay. Because that's a clear conscious decision that mm. you've made. Did you check any of your contrast accessibilities when doing this? I did try to sort of eyeball it. Yellows and oranges, quite often they don't pass AA or AAA standards of contrast. They're a nightmare to design with, to be honest, which is a shame because the colour scheme in this is actually really nice. Done. That went really well. They gave really good constructive feedback. I was so deep in designing that I couldn't see some of the stuff that they were saying, so it was really good to get that feedback. I'm so tired now. If you have any other recommendations of another theme of app for me to design, I'm more than happy to take suggestions if you put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!